Hey guys, today I want to take you behind the scenes on a book cover shoot with Samuel and Connie Johnson. Here's the finished book cover, which is actually a updated version. The I shot the original cover for this back in 2013, and they've decided to uh, update the book, and we needed to shoot a new cover. Now, for those of you who uh, are not aware, like outside of Australia, Samuel Johnson is a, a very well-known and highly respected Australian actor, and uh, we're also, uh, some of you may uh, recognize Samuel Johnson as he's the voice you hear in the intro and the outro of the So You Want to Be a Photographer podcast. I've been photographing Samuel for many, many years and he approached me in 2013 to be part of a project that he was working on with his sister Connie. At the time this image was taken, Connie Johnson, 33 at the time and a mother of two young children, had just been diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. This was the third time Connie had been diagnosed with cancer. She'd had uh, a cancer as a, a teenager in her leg and then a, another cancer when she was in her 20s. She'd uh, survived cancer twice, but unfortunately this time doctors were only giving her six months to live. Connie wanted to make the whole experience less meaningless and what she wanted to do was try and raise a million dollars for the Garvin Research Foundation and the way she wanted to do this was to send her brother Samuel around Australia on a unicycle. He did that successfully and they have so far raised over two million dollars and with the hope of raising another eight million to bring the total to ten million. This shoot was done at the end of last year and the shoot itself was very challenging for Connie who was in a lot of pain and needed to have regular breaks to rest but wanted to soldier on so it was a massive day for her and uh, what was most important was that we got all the shots done and were able to have enough stock to promote all the merchandise that they could then uh, on sell to raise more money for the charity So five years ago, when I first photographed Samuel and Connie for the charity, Samuel Johnson was a front and centre as being the most recognised of the two. The All the publicity really focused around Samuel. For this shoot, which is now the third time that I've photographed Samuel and Connie, it became more about trying to capture the relationship between Samuel and Connie and also making it more about Connie. So when I came into all of these shoots, obviously it's it's a serious subject and we all know that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we need to have a, a somber attitude on the day. It was really important for me that everyone at the shoot enjoyed themselves. It was a memorable shoot and that I captured the, the bond between the two of them and also 
Connie's uh, light and her beautiful smile and particularly for this shoot where Connie really was a struggling and quite unwell I wanted her to feel beautiful and special on the day and I remember her commenting I actually got my makeup artist Fohatsis to come in and make her up and I remember Connie saying on the day that this was the first time in a long time that she felt beautiful again and so that was awesome to hear and you'll notice when I share the video that we it is a really fun day we joked around there was a lot of laughter on the day and I think that's really important on a shoot like this that your personality whatever it is however you approach it but you keep it real on the day oh that's enough banging on from me Let, let's get into the shoot uh yes it? so we've got uh samuel johnson on set today and we're shooting uh, a cover shoot uh for his book with his sister connie and uh sam and his sister run love your sister together which is a charity for what, what do you do sam do you want you may uh, as well tell we us we raise money for breast cancer research right it's um, just so breast cancer what's that just breast cancer uh, research well, no actually it started off as breast cancer yeah um, but now it's cancer in general so yeah we've ditched the pink yeah um and yeah it started with a unicycle ride around the country with my sister yeah and now we just do anything and everything to try and raise coin and um and we've relied on you for our images since we started <laughs> so yeah so we've worked together for a little while and the first we did uh the first shoot in 2012 yep. Uh, 2012, as Sam was about to embark on a, uh, like, ha how far? Around Australia, on a yeah. unicycle. We did a, um, and then we did a cover shoot for the last book and lots of publicity. So today, they're actually rebranding and uh, getting rid of the fuchsia. Yep. And we go on to black and silver. So there's a new book uh, coming out soon. And so we're doing the cover for that. And then we're doing all the product photography. So we're set up for cover. Big Octa uh, in the middle couple of uh, soft boxes uh, either side just as fill um, this is the setup here and um, just nice good clean beautiful lighting gives really nice catch lights we've done already done a burst with Sam we're just going to do another one where he's going to bring more love into the <laughs> shot and if some of you are going where have I heard this voice where have I heard this voice Samuel is uh, the voice of the podcast, so he opens and closes the podcast every week and uh, does a beautiful job. He's got the sexiest voice in Australia, haven't you, Sam? Just say my name. <laughs> That's good. Oh, it's, oh, it's so good. Uh, <laughs> That's nice. So we're bringing the love. Beautiful. That's great. So just a really tight headshot. The setup for this image is I've used a large deep octa as my main light. That's my hero light. That's what's giving the image its shape. So you can see that here in the face and then there's fall off around the chin. The reason I've chosen the large deep octa is I needed to have a main light that was going to have enough coverage for both Samuel and Connie when they were standing next to each other. Normally if I was just doing single portraits I'd possibly use my small deep octa or a beauty dish but I didn't don't think that it have enough coverage when I've got two people standing next to each other uh, like the cover shot was going to be. The next thing I do is add some fill light because the large octa on its own kind of isn't going to light my subjects enough and the there'll be like too much shadow uh, under the chin and on the body so I wanted to just use a couple of soft boxes as fill so I've brought in my large soft boxes and then finally what I've done is I've introduced a couple of white flats uh, directly behind my models and that's to stop the spill from the fill light and the octa hitting the background because I wanted to have a nice deep grey as a background 
and the cutters work really well to block that extra light spilling onto the background. Uh, finally, I've just brought in a white reflector uh, at at their feet and uh, that just fills a bit of uh, light back into the face and so it's a nice uh, flat-ish kind of uh, lighting uh, but it has it does still have some shape it gives beautiful catch lights in the eyes and I think it's uh, perfect for this sort of uh, editorial look where we are going through a lot of shots it I didn't want to have to work with a lighting style that uh, if I'm, the models moved millimeters, it would change the lighting altogether. So this is a really good all-round lighting style. There is uh, a lot of uh, uh, latitude that you can work with where you've got, uh, you can have a model that's not perhaps not hitting their mark every time. It's not going to matter too much to the overall shot. You still do get a consistent look overall so it's perfect for this sort of shoot where we were changing in and out of outfits and needed to work really quickly. My camera settings for this shot were uh, f 5.6 and a half at an ISO of 100 at 1125th of a second and I shot on the 70 to 200 lens at a focal length of 120. All right, so I've got Sam and Connie on set now to do this uh, book cover for their next Love Your Sister book. So the, the brief is uh, to get love between them. So we've got two concepts in mind. The first one is I'm going to try and do something uh, to have them hugging uh, faces quite close together. So I've got the big octa, a couple of big soft boxes as fill, and then a reflector underneath. Uh, and that's the first shot. Then we're going to just back off and uh, do the second concept, which I think will be the book cover where they're going to be holding hands, which sort of uh, has uh, more, more heart about it, I think. So um, let's get into it. So we'll get you guys to just, uh, just come with so we don't end up falling over. Um, I, I need you hugging so yep. you're quite, quite close. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, Do even... More forward again, no, 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 it's, you're good where you are. Okay. Yeah. So the trick is to get love without looking like looking you're a couple. Awkward. Yeah. yeah. That's, no, to, um, that's be nice because you're higher so you can have text above Connie's head. So okay, that's so we shot the tight version where they're that. hugging that and uh, showing, showing the love. Um, and we then did another yeah. version where they're side by side, which looked good, but they're... The, the outfits that they were wearing because they wanted to wear their merchandise tended to make them both look a little <laughs> frumpy and I think there was an issue with the positioning of both of them. So uh, they changed into another outfit and uh, it made the world of difference. Let's just get you straight on and strong, yep. okay? We'll do that one, that look. So strong, proud. Just a hint of a smile from both of you. That's nice. Fantastic. That's it. Re Connie, remember the chin thing? Just a bit forward and down. A bit forward and down. That's it. <laughs> like a little bird. And don't think about it now. <laughs> uh, and just uh, both of you, like, little smile, little smile, little smile. Good. Okay, now let's be seven again. Right. Seven. Ready, set, and seven. Beautiful. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Two little. Okay, Connie, just glance over at Sam. Sam, d directly to camera. That's so beautiful. Okay, Connie, back to me. Sam, just glance over, glance over. Oh, love, love them. Come and have a look at these. Just. Em, do you want to have a look? Another level. Oh, I think much better. Much, much better. Much, much, much better. 
We've got good clothes. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Let me come and have a look. I think these are much more, much more kind of. Yep. Totally. And switch switch them around. This is better. Yeah. yeah. Kind of better side. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely something in there for cover. Completely. They're really I'm, beautiful. I'm totally really mean. much yeah. happier oh, with that now. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Makes all the difference for me. But um, the clothes made all the difference. Did. Yeah. Tony totally winning. Had nothing much to do with me. The lighting was. The lighting's, uh, the lighting's uh, fucking that phenomenal. Was great. Serious. How's the fucking but this mood, is... mate? Oh, Jeez. <laughs> the mood. This is good merch shots. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So totally. You, you know, but these just That's like more cover. An, another level. You yeah. Know, kind of a mark. Yeah. I kind of like it. We're kind of looking like really we're a bit of a rock and brother and sister. Rock and sister. Well, why outfit. Why do you have to look like? Frumpy, you know? Yeah, I thought it was too frumpy with the um, uh, yeah, with the thingies. They were too, they were too shapeless. So, Con, quickly, uh, something you want to get a headshot done in? I'll do a, a a headshot of you. I should just get get a good three. You should just get some singles yep. stock yep. in here. Yeah, that could be for corporate. Anything. All right, can we get and, um, in uh, that outfit? Yes, let's get her okay, in that great. outfit because that could be appearing. You know. Um, the headshot, the love your sister headshot, not a normal person headshot, we already have those. Yep. So, do you just want to love your sister? What can we do oh, with your hands? Oh, that's great, Con. Yeah. That is Bring so your... good. That, man, that's even the one. Bring your hands out in front, though. So maybe just pretend like there's a ring on your little finger. Bring your hands together. That's it. And just yeah, twirl that good. ring. Yeah, that's good. That's natural. That's it. That's nice. Look at you go. Looks amazing, you, Connie. You look so hot. Looks so good, each one of these. Check these out. <laughs> sorry, I know you trust me. They are amazing. Your body. Yeah, That's sorry, sorry, go, go, go. <laughs> I look really good, Con. Fantastic. Yeah, All right, perfect. jump in, Sam. Yep, sure. Rockstar. You can't have this beautiful makeup and not shoot it. That's right. Oh, Sam, he goes through his whole range now. Let's <laughs> do it, man. Uh, all of them. Let's go from one, two, bring it up. No! <laughs> and he brings that oh, out. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Mix it up, Sammy. Come on. Give, oh, that's too wide for me. I don't oh. shoot wide. I shoot long. I'm a narrow girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really glad. Huh? <laughs> and we got that in the recording. <laughs> oh, we're cutting there. That'll be cut for sure. <laughs> oh my god, that's nice with the hands. I think we got you too. Right. There's heaps there. Thank All right, you. we're gonna kill this set and go straight okay, to the cool. white. The lighting for the white setup was very similar to what I used for the grey setup. So I've basically got the large deep octa as my hero light, two large soft boxes as fill, and I've also added two mono lights in the background with uh, they've just got a reflector so there's no modifier on the background and they're pointed straight at my background. Now, the lighting uh, strength has changed slightly. So basically, the front lights are giving me a reading of F11 and a half because I wanted a uh, narrower aperture because I needed to have... Um, more variety in these shots, more depth going through the shots. So there would be some shots where Connie might be forward to, to closer to camera and Samuel would be further back and vice versa. So I needed the depth. Uh, an aperture of f5.6 and a half was going to be a bit risky. So I needed to increase the power of my lights. So the reading on the front was going to be f 11 and a half and the reading on my background lights was f22 which is a stop and a half over what my front lights are so that's what gives you that bright white background
See Connie, look over your shoulder. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Maybe one out. front. <laughs> Maybe you should have one front in front on, one, one back, back on. Back. Yeah, that's um, it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Out. Look. Nice. <laughs> Maybe have Connie facing this right here. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's great. So like in a backward V. That's nice. Great. All right, so do you want to do um, con singles? Con single. Yep, in the hoodie. Um, you're down to t-shirt now. Okay. You're already wearing. Oh, can Give I it do that this? Based. So, so con, just right. work yourself so that like you're coming in from the left side of your body. That's it, because that's better for you. And I'm just going to come in and fix your hair. Do you want me to do my little? <laughs> your little. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, special. You narrow one. It's over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is so good. This is how I style hair. What? Watch like, this. Watch this. Ready? Getting a bit of wind going on. Doesn't touch it. That's hilarious. That's what I'm doing. She won't let me done. And that's you how you style hair. Man <laughs> right. Great to camera. That's Looks great, great Con. Beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. Alright. You actually okay. look quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to do Sammy coming in. Yep. We're going to do tea together. Con's, okay. Yeah, extent of the exposure of Con's tea is going to be something like that. Yep. So maybe gonna be a, do you all mean different pants? Um, top man and his stick. It's very. Very cool. I want to almost be lower. Yeah. Oh, that was great looking. At, oh, that's really cool looking to the side. Yeah, back to me. I want to just drop down a little bit because it's uh, more powerful. Yep, heroic. Alright, that's it. That's it. Spin forward. Yeah. Right. Slightly clean your fist. Not too much. Just yeah, that's it. Chin down distraction. Good. And just again glance to the side. That's great. Eyes to me. Fantastic. Awesome. That's great. Awesome. That's a really cool shot. Well, so you're going to have Action Man coming up? Uh, <laughs> I, I think I should have. I'm feeling a little bit There's like... Action Man is a bit more testosterone puffy. coming around now, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes, laughs> um, are we able to do one like this? Yeah. Because this may end up as a no smoking kind of thing. I don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah. No sticks. Alright. Is this your preferred long stick, Em? Relax, relax okay. Yep. Okay. One second. You know you need to adjust your about your gotcha. Body. Yeah. Even like doing that, yeah. Is this you being a little girl? <laughs> I like it. Very cute. You should stand next to her. <laughs> One of the last shots of the shoot was to uh, create a series of images that look like Samuel and Connie were holding uh, large five cent pieces as part of a world record challenge to create the 
world's largest love heart out of five cent pieces. So what we did was uh, wrap uh, a whole lot of uh, paper plates in silver foil and then it was really easy to Photoshop the currency onto the front of those. So they're all being used as part of the advertising campaign for Connie's world record attempt which will be uh, in a, in a couple of weeks time